Engine has just released a really cool set of Twitch integrations for all websites and profiles. To make things easier to follow, we'll split this into two videos, the first covering profile integration and the second covering website modules. In this video, we'll show you how to set up Twitch on your profile, as well as explain to you all the really cool features attached. Okay, to start setting up Twitch, you want to head over to your profile drop-down menu and then select the account settings section. From account settings, you should be able to see a new option at the bottom called Twitch Setup. Clicking this option will take us over to our Twitch settings page. To connect your Twitch account, you'll just need to click the Connect Twitch Account button. This will then take you over to a Twitch login screen where you'll need to authorize Engine CMS to pull your account data. Don't worry, we don't need any sensitive information, we just need access to your following channel's data. After entering your Twitch username and password and pressing login, you should be taken back to Engine and see a little success window. To double check the integration has worked, you can head over and check out your new fancy Twitch TV profile section. From the new section you can see your added stream, as well as data on total views, current viewers and followers. We also include sections so you can keep track of any following channels and active streams. To increase each Twitch stream's individual presence on Engine, we've also chosen to assign each one a custom Engine rank. Your Engine rank will be calculated based on the total number of views on your stream. You can check out all current rank users in the top Engine Twitch users section. You can also browse by top active streams and games on Engine. Ok, let's head back over to the top streams on Engine and check out what an active stream looks like. After you've gone live on Twitch, a notification message will be sent to your profile wall notifying all your friends. You'll also acquire a live on Twitch icon in both your profile cover and Twitch TV profile section. Streams can be watched actively from the profile front end, as well as options to follow and place the stream in theatre mode. Clicking the theatre mode option opens the stream in a new pop-up, allowing you to interact directly with the Twitch streamer. If we head back over to our Twitch setup section, we've also got some basic options for you. You can select whether you'd like automatic notifications to be sent to your profile wall when you go live, and you could also choose to hide the Twitch widget from your activity wall sidebar. To remove your Twitch account from your profile, just click Unlink Twitch Account. And that's that, we pretty much covered all basic features to do with our profile integration. In our next video tutorial, we'll cover website integration, including the Showcase and Twitch Sidelist modules. If you have any questions on the profile integration, please leave a comment or submit a support form, all links included in the video description.